Hey guys, it's Ken Conklin of Growl the Castle here, and I'm here with the lovely Christine McDaniel, owner of Eco Chateau, the number one rated wellness spa in San Diego. How are you doing? I'm good. Awesome. So we teamed up with Eco Chateau to help them leverage social media to the fullest. They knew that they were leaving money on the table by not using these amazing platforms that all of their audience is on every single day. And so our objective was to target the people that they knew they wanted in their doors, and so we had to creatively express their brand personality online to not only attract new business in the doors, but also create brand loyalty. We wanted to create raving fans that not only wanted to promote the business to their audiences, but also stay with them for the long run. And so everything we did on each different platform, we wanted to make sure that everything was consistent, that the messaging and kind of look and feel and vibe was all the same. And so we did a diff couple different um, techniques and strategies to figure out what would be the best way to do that. And so I'm gonna go over those right now. Okay, so the very first thing that we did was we created a Facebook ad giving away a $100 gift card. This was a promo that we tested to see how audiences would react to giving away something for free because a lot of the times business owners or marketers will try to you know, be really pushy and salesy but here's the thing, when you're on Facebook, you're kind of just relaxing, you're just looking at what your friends and family are up to, you're not trying to be sold to. So your guard isn't necessarily up, but you're not also being open to this. But if you see something that's being given away for free, you're going to be like, hell yeah, I want to check that out. <laughs> and so what we thought was a great idea was to give away a $100 gift card. So we had a contest where they had to not only like the factual photo, like the page, but also tag their friends and share it. So they're also promoting it on their audiences. So say it's just a profile that has 500 to 1,000 friends, that's being shared to that many people on that one person, as well as also they enter into a landing page that we created so that we'd also uh, um, get their information. Because here's the thing, you don't want to be marketing to someone, spending all these advertising dollars to just have someone go to your website check it out, maybe you buy something, but if they don't, then they're gone. And then, you're, then you lost them. You spent that money, you didn't get any sort of transaction. And so what we wanted to do was capture their information, that way we could email them later on and also follow up with them. So Christine had her front desk employees actually contact the people. So what we did was we sent each and every lead to the email of the front desk people and they would actually call them to talk about, hey, thanks for entering the contest for the gift card but also here is a half off sauna session. So not only did we get their information and also give them incentive to you know, kind of check out the brand, we also gave them you know, half off sauna session so that they would actually come in the doors because that's the biggest thing. You want to sometimes have a low ticket item price that would get people in the doors, but once they're in there, then you can really sell them because they've already experienced the brand, they know what the business is like, and they end up liking you. So then that makes them want to buy you know, maybe a year long membership or a month membership, whatever it is. But that was our first thing and ended up being really successful. All right, so the next campaign was we used all the customer database. Um, we had about 15,000 contacts in our database and created a lookalike audience on Facebook to target you know, the people that would be interested in coming into the spa. And so we did two different things. We split tested a Facebook voucher where people would see it on Facebook and press a little button to import you know, or like fill out a little form. Um, and then we also did a landing page and we noticed that the best results were directing people off of Facebook because for some reason people just don't like entering their information um, on an actual Facebook form and it's actually good because uh, for the actual form to be filled out it would actually cost a bit more than we wanted to spend and so sending them off to the landing page and getting their information on there we're also able to kind of give them more incentive because you know with Facebook ads you can only have so much that you can actually give away and so you want to actually take them to a place where you can really express the tone you know do like the branding the design and everything and also tell them why they should really learn more about the business or take you know us up on the offer so giving away the 65 percent off the infrared sauna session voucher um, got a lot of leads that we're able to then have emailed to the front desk where again they're able to reach out to those people from there call them email them whatnot but now they had all their information so that they could market to them again so when we took over Eco Chateau's Instagram, we wanted to make sure that we took full advantage of it. So this is a very big platform, right? With over 700 million users, a lot of people in San Diego that would be interested in going to a spa is on this platform. So we wanted to make sure that we were able to bring a new business and the way that we did that was by pushing out top-notch quality content. 
So Ika Chateau is a luxury spa. We wanted to make sure that the content was premium because that's what a lot of businesses do and they make the mistake of putting out crappy content that doesn't really express the true value and quality of the brand of the business. So we wanted to make sure that all the content that we put out was top notch. So we booked numerous different photo shoots with Eco Chateau. So we had plenty of content to cycle through, but also so that when we were starting to run out, we wouldn't just use the lower quality content. We would always have top notch stuff that we could select and use. And if we needed more content that was, you know, a game, we would just book another shoot. And so we used all this content and pushed it out there. And so I, I want you to think about this real quick. You're on Instagram, you've had a long week, and you're like, you know what, I, I need to relax. I, I, it's a Friday, you've worked all week, maybe you're a mom that just picked up the kids and you know they're out playing and you're like, sitting at home, I need to just get away for a little bit. All of a sudden, you open up Instagram, you're scrolling through your feed, and you see an ad of a lovely woman that's relaxing, that's getting a massage, and all of a sudden, you see a little promo code or an offer saying, hey, you know, awesome moms out there in San Diego. We're giving away a 50% off sauna session for the next 10 people that book a session with us. Call this number. All of a sudden, you're gonna realize, oh my God, this is me. They're gonna be aware of the pain and the problem that they have right then. And there's a solution to that offer. And so they call, and all of a sudden, Ika Chateau got another person in the doors. And so not only were we able to target new business from this, because we're actually able to target people and be strategic by putting out top, you know, notch quality, top the stuff that you know that audience wants to see. We're also able to help them create long-term and um, you know loyal customers because not only did they you know enjoy the experience that they had at the actual business, but when they're following the page, they get reminded of how amazing they felt when they attended, you know, the spa. And so that's why it's so crucial to also get you know. Promote the page to have your audience follow it because you know when they are feeling exhausted, maybe they aren't thinking about oh I need to get a massage. They're just thinking about how crazy and hectic life is right then. But all of a sudden they're scrolling through Instagram, they get reminded of how amazing they felt when they saw that photo that resembles you know that experience that they had. And so that's why it's really crucial to make sure that you're really leveraging this platform to the fullest. And so not only did we use this tool to bring in new business on a day-to-day -day basis. It was also the ultimate leverage for Ika Chateau's latest event. So we reached out to a lot of different influencers and basically said, hey look, we love your page, you seem like an awesome person, we'd love to have you attend our next event, maybe you can bring a couple friends. You'd be surprised at how many people actually said yes. So that when we you know, came to the event to you know, shoot and hang out and you know, have an awesome time as well, both us and Eco Chateau, the whole entire business, was absolutely blown away at the turnout. They had double the amount of people that they expected to come. And so it was an awesome time, it was super fun. It ended up allowing Eco Chateau to sign up a lot of new members for their you know, membership program and whatnot. And it was all from this awesome tool called Instagram. And so not only can it be awesome for just, you know, as a long run, you know, for the whole overview of marketing your business, you can also leverage it for different things, you know, for different events that you have coming up. So it ended up working out really good and we're actually, yeah, really surprised at the turnout. And then the last thing that we have is the brand ambassador program. So along with like what we just said, having influencers promote, um, you know, the event to, you know, their friends and maybe their audience, we also created the ambassador program to have other people that love going to Ika Chateau. Uh, promoted to their audience too. So we had a couple different affiliate links and also a couple different um, like photos and little like kind of graphics that we designed and you know had the little promo code and whatnot on there and we gave it to all the ambassadors so that they could promote it on their audience as well. And we just started rolling this out so we don't have you know too much of a um, too, too many results to really go off of to see how effective it was. But we have a really strong feeling that this will be a very effective tool as well. So overall, it's been a lot of fun trying out these different campaigns, but we want to ask Christine, the owner of Eco Chateau, what she thought of all the different campaigns and how's, how's, what's, what's the process been like so far working on It was amazing. Like, Ken's been so great. He came on site and just, you know, he really embodied the essence of Eco Chateau and all of the branding. He made sure everything was consistent. Like, in my opinion, I know it's hard to track direct leads off of Instagram, for instance. 
However, when I have a brand new employee that just got hired, you know, telling me, hey, I went to your website and I went to your Instagram page and just love what you guys are all about and fell in love with the job before I even applied for it, then to me, that's also an ROI and return on investment. It's not necessarily a client coming in the door. It could also be a new team member. It just, it goes in just so many ways. And I always tell Ken, like, thank you so much for just making our Instagram page so dialed in to where, well, now that we decided to run these campaigns, it was just all one piece put together. There was synergy. So yes, I highly recommend Ken and his team at Gravel to Castle. Highly for any business owner out there that needs help with their digital marketing and especially Facebook and Instagram. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure working with you so far. Yeah, thanks.